Yes, we're back. Hello. This, I think this is the first time we've done an AMA session where we're not like like drunk. Yeah, I didn't want to say that, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> bone ass sober Sunday morning sober. What is happening? Which is also in itself kind of weird because lots of times on Sunday morning I wake up and I'm not sober. <laughs> Today I woke up and I forgot that Sunday had a morning that was this early. Yeah, so we're here. We're here and we've got a couple AMA questions. People like these. They like knowing a little bit more about us. Today we've got questions from Amy Matza Berger over on our Discord, the CCO Discord. So a little, little bit deeper questions. And at first I thought they were a little bit, I thought they were negative, but they're really not. And I think we're going to demonstrate why. So let me bring them up here. Moments or specific situations that have made you consider leaving magic and how you learned from it or why you stayed anyways. Ooh, Ooh, Uh, deep. I had one that I actually did leave for a while uh, back when I was playing standard the first time. Left. And we're we're going to put left in quotations because I don't think anybody ever leaves. They don't call it cardboard crack for nothing. It's it's part of our identity as gamers and as pop culture enthusiasts. Yeah. You never really leave. It's like being an addict. You're always an addict. You're just a recovering addict or a relapsed addict. Truth. And good on you if you're, you're on the journey. Very much so. So affinity just chased me out because it wasn't fun anymore. Like, 2002, three, like, yeah, mirrored and stuff was yeah. happening. It was just, I don't like this anymore. I don't want to, this isn't my jam. So specifically like artifact lands were printed yeah. and then in dark steel, the arc bond creatures that you could move plus ones to yeah. and fro hither and wh- hither and thither, hither and way or whatever. And, and then yeah. the skull clamp to yeah. draw cards while you're doing this. Your guys died. All of the counters go on arc bond ravager. They draw a bunch of removal. They kill you. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, every deck was like, and here specifically, it was quite bad because like everybody just played affinity. So mm-hmm. it's like, I don't, cause everybody played it because it was not close. Even when they banned a bunch of cards, it wasn't close the best. Yeah. yeah. And it, uh, the affinity era marks magic's largest mass exodus from competitive play so you weren't the only person who did that certainly not but because nobody really quits you continue to buy cards you come back during yeah i got shock lands during ravnica days but i was still kind of <laughs> right i was smart i picked up a couple of kind of jemmy things from uh kemigawa and all that stuff and then time spiral hit and it was so cool. It was a flashback to like when I first started collecting cards and I was just a little kid and I didn't know what the fuck was happening. Mm. But it was just cool now that I have my kind of grown up sensibilities. And so I came back and I collected all these these new cards that were old but new again or new twists on old favorites. Yeah. And it sucked me right back in. And I had a, a, a lot of the people that we're playing with now, F.U. Smitty, F.U. Clayton, my, my lady friend at the time, all liked to play. And we just kind of got back in and we played strict casual. It was after Lorowin was rotating out the next week when I went back to standard. So I was out for... That's kind of... That's almost the exact same time frame that I left and came back, but for a different reason. Yeah. Magic just stopped being as big of a part of my life. Like at the end of Mirrodin block with Fifth Dawn... I was like, okay, cool, I'm all the way into this. And then Kamigawa hit, and it was like, I don't it know. Was sucky. Like, well, it, it it didn't grab me because I didn't like like the the rat people and I didn't like the moon folk people. They were weird. What about the snake people? I didn't like the snake people. <laughs> like, I don't know if you listened to the episode of CCO proper a couple of weeks ago, like all the furries. I'm just not into animal people, <laughs> I guess. But snakes with arms, man. <laughs> they got four arms. <laughs> that makes them not snakes. And um, I, I track and field and, uh, I don't know, girls <laughs> going to university was like starting to take kind of over and magic just, I didn't have time for it because I was doing other stuff. And then when I got into university and eventually had some downtime because, you know, like as you get older, like you don't need to hang out with like f- all your friends, you know, you get one or two good friends. Yeah. And then I met like you and Smitty and like you did, like those guys started to become my friends and that's what we did. So I started to play more. Hell yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't, good. it wasn't any one thing like it was for you that made me get out. It was just a combination of everything that was happening. And then eventually I was like, 
hey, what's this magic thing? I want it back into my life. You know what I mean? It, actually, I, I was actually close to leaving again during the Cobblade era. Because oh, yeah. Cobblade was such a fucking piece of shit. But we're not going to get into that. That was that was f- for the same reason. Though, yeah, man. it was the exact same kind of thing. But uh, It's funny when they ban cards is like they know people are leaving and don't want to play this game anymore. Old Extended kept me in. Oh, yeah. Of all things, yeah. If, if anybody remembers Extended, we were playing Extended. I think we were the last store to be playing it officially. And it was it was a lot of fun. We had the little kids that came and like their parents would go out and they'd leave the kids and they would play magic with us and they used to bring baking and it was yeah it was a happening. It, it was, was a lot it of fun. was community and that same community ended up transforming into EDH and M EDH and M community that before the dark ages that we're in now people would bring food fries from the bar down the way because we played a mall yep. um, dollar store candy just bags of candy chocolate bars that kind of stuff because it's so cheap at the dollar store right yeah and then after we go out for beers and stuff with all the people of age that like go and the store owner shuts the store down he comes right yeah, yeah. super fun yeah super fun great community and that's what brings us back more so than just the game is like just camaraderie because it's this kind of stuff that we'd be doing anyways. Yeah. Going out for appetizers and drinks and socializing with now we all have like houses and families and stuff. We have fires and barbecues and like literally that's how Commander Cookout started. That's why it's called that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's why it's called that. Now we do have another question and I've I've got a quicker answer and a story, but I've told the story before, so it'll it'll be quick too. This is from Amy as well. This is what one deck or one player that you played that you still remember and despise? Oh, shit. <laughs> and why? And and I, that you remember and that you despise. I'm treating those as, as separate things. <laughs> <laughs> and and um, the one thing that I'll never forget, it was an F&M, and I'm playing my white-blue enchantment deck, and it was Conflux Alara Lorwyn Block Standard. Remember the deck? I called it Stabilize at 2. Yeah. <laughs> this guy yeah. I was playing against <laughs> coughs across the table right into my face. Oh. And I see his little, little, like, little spit goblins. Not spit goblins, but like just the droplets. I see them like on the sleeves in the, ref- like, in the light, like in the reflection. Never forget that. Gross. If you cough on somebody's face now, you go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> you just go to jail. And I'm getting coughed on an F and M. It's like the the culture change about the pandemic is, oh, is times have going to be awesome because <laughs> you're not going to have to go to work sick anymore. It's not going to be pressured to go to work. Nobody's going to cough in your face at F and M, right? Like people are going to wash their hands more often. People might ask before they touch your cards. Yes, 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 yes. So do you, do you have a bad one like that? Oh, if, I have. If I was going to uh, say, if you don't, it's fine. <laughs> I have several, but I'm not going to air them here because as much as I'm a fun guy and I'm great and everybody loves me, I do run into people that I do clash with from time to time. And there are players that I have had negative interactions with that I'm not going to get into because it's not what this is about. Remember when we were playing Two-Headed Giant and, and the, the guy was stack shuffling his deck, card, card, land, card, card, land, and then you took it and like went like... One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, the other way, and he had cards and lands. And yeah. Like, you can't do that. And was we like, were like, you can't do that. Yeah, you're the one that can't do that, bud. That was <laughs> yeah. that was a good day. That was a, they were very salty about oh, that. Man. I have a foil card in there. Well, maybe you should leave it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we are fucking trolls. Yeah, man. we're just fucking terrible. Good but I mean there's for every good thing there's a or every bad thing, there's a good thing. Oh yeah. And I'll never forget this one day that I felt like such a hero of magic. I was playing in a legacy event. And I played Legacy Dredge, and I don't spread my graveyard out so you can see everything. And I just remember, and I haven't replaced. It's the one thing I can remember. That's why I can't remember names or dates or people or times or appointments. Mother ass remembers his fucking graveyard order from 2004. Shit, yeah, (laughs) baby. I know how many bridges are in there. I know where the Icarids are. I know if I have a butt gasp. I am all in, baby. And I was doing that, and people were like, how are you managing that? How do you know? And their heads were blowing up. It was awesome. (laughs) I got one, and I think we, we've told this story before. This is my good story. This is from 2018 Magic Fest Las Vegas, where we met F.U. Lenny, oh, yeah. member of the nation, in person. We meet him, but we don't really know who he is, right? And then later, Don Miner, the owner of EDH Rec, comes over to us and says, I was playing against this guy. He had the same shirt on as you guys or whatever, or 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 
I he had an EDH rec shirt on, Don Miner did, and he's like, EDH rec, cool. So do you do you know those guys or whatever, right? And uh, he says, Yeah, I'm Don Miner. And Lenny was like, Don Miner, Don Miner, how do I know that name? And Don's just sitting there, like biggest commander fucking website on the planet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's just like I run the format, I give Watsy data, yeah. conspiracy theories galore, right? Right. Oh, Don Miner, I know you. You're that guy from EDH Rec that CCO boys dunk on all the time. You should make your site better. <laughs> no, man. So that was a great-ass time right there. Oh, that's fantastic. I love meeting celebrities that, like, heard of and, us dunking on them. And, and, and Don told me that. Like, Lenny was like, oh, man, I didn't even know who he was. <laughs> Don told me that. It was so funny. My favorite thing about Don Miner is it always looks like he's really concentrating. That's because he's still smart. <laughs> it's like the smartness is trying to get out of his head. <laughs> I don't know if that's a dig or what. But it could be. Uh, he's, he's, he's fine. He's 7 out of 10. Yeah. At best. Yeah, his website is 7 out of 10. It's yeah. like, yeah, it's like a 51 it. on the spicy calculator. <laughs> Didn't he give us all the data for the spice calculator? Well, yeah. whatever. <laughs> The point is, there's a couple of questions. Keep them coming down in the comments below or on Discord if you're there. Let us know if there's anything you would like to know about us. We love doing videos like this. We'll have a chat. We'll enlighten you, hopefully entertain you as well. And we'll see you next time. Yeah, I guess so. Burr, 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 burr.